Well, come up to uh, the Ramsey Pier, Queen's Pier in Ramsey, and uh, we've got a couple of interviews to do today, but uh, one, first of all, was a very emotional moment, uh, unveiling the special plaque for Johnny Green, and some friends, good friends, uh, are here, because Johnny was a gardener, and yet he had a very big passion for the pier, and he yes. sadly died very young, and, yes. uh, but he made a donation. Do you want to tell us about this, what happened here? Um, unfortunately, he was diagnosed with an inoperable cancer and he lost the use of his legs. So it was, it was really tragic because, he, as I say, I'd known him since he was 10 years old when he first came to the island. And my late husband took him fishing off the pier here and then off the stone pier. And um, they came every year. We became friends, firm friends with the family, staying in Leicester and it was lovely. And when John was nearly 17, when his parents were going back, he announced he wasn't going back with them. He was going to stay with Auntie Edna. I didn't know, by the way, um, but he did. And he was with me for nearly two years. His parents bought a house in Ramsey. And John became a Ramsey boy. And his love was fishing, gardening, which he earned his living at. And Leicester football team. Yes. Now he did your garden, didn't he? He did. He did my garden at home, which we had a big garden, and he did a lot of the heavy work. And he also did the garden at the bakery, Ramsey Bakery, Mm -hmm. which he took great pride in. And I'd known him for over 20 years plus, really, through his gardening for us. And he just became a friend, really, uh, through that. And of course, like it's Edna saying, his love was gardening, and he really did. And his garden at home was always a, a picture to see in the summer. He grew, his favourites were begonias, and they were always so so lovely in the summer. People went, we just used to go up and have a look at his garden because it was a picture to see outside the front of his house. And that's just Edna saying too, his passion also was for fishing. And he spent a lot of his years here when the pier was open, growing up, fishing off the pier. And really, um, well, he, that's and yeah. what he's put into the pier for Ramsey just cannot be yeah. washed away, really, because he's put so much just and left mm-hmm. a legacy for Ramsey. And that legacy was a lot of ironwork, the steelwork, that had to be put in for the next section yeah. to be done, Fantastic. which is a lot of... Uh, it was I mean, a lot, lot of money, lot of money mm. going into it. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. So it was nice, wasn't it? I mean, the, 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 you gave your memories here. We went. The, the plaque was unveiled. Yeah. It's it's um it's going to be there. For, I think it's, this is what's great about the Ramsey Pier, the Queen's Pier. It's going to be there forever, and everyone could be appreciated. Yeah. It is really, and it's so appreciative for the the amount of time and effort that people have come and put in mm. without any yeah. rec- recognition as as much just through their hard work mm. and Ramsey's Pier is such an iconic um, statue there it should ha- and the likes of John putting his legacy into it to help it out certainly I think the people of Ramsey must be really really proud of what he's done well a blustery day but at least it was dry for the whole thing he he he'd be pleased won't he with what's he going on he would have been well, delighted yeah. and the workmanship off the pier now is is amazing. I mean, these men have worked through all kinds of weather as well. They have been incredible. The people that have helped the pier, the fundraisers and the workers, they all deserve so much credit. (laughs) 